When you're wounded, you have to strike back. Draw blood. Hey, can I get one damn minute to mourn my friend? Regala is going to slaughter my tribe to overthrow Hikaru. The Zeniths have Beta and Gaia. We can't sit around wallowing in our losses. Kotalo's right. We must fight. Oh, all right. So what are we gonna do, huh? Take on all of Regala's rebels? Not to mention the Zeniths. What can we even do? Throw ourselves at their base? Something like that. So... After we lost contact with you, we regrouped and went to Gemini. What happened? The recording we found on Varl's focus cut off when that Zenith Eric... The Zeniths were tracking Hephaestus. When Gaia trapped it in Gemini, they... They knew where we were. After... Varl tried to stop them. They took Beta and Gaia. I only survived because one of the Zeniths turned against the others to save me. One of them? Well... At least we didn't lose you, too. So what do we do now? We're going to defeat the Zeniths. And get Beta and Gaia back. But first... We're going to stop Regala. How? Back in Gemini, Beta gave me... A gift. There's something I need to do first to make it work, but it could put an end to the bloodshed. Word is, Regala's readying her army for an all-out assault on the Grove. I need to be there i know go stand with hikaru and keep an eye on the sky strike true as the ten the rest of you whatever preparations you need to make upgrades resupplies get on it it won't be long before we take the fight to the zenus we'll be ready Aloy. And when you're ready, meet me outside the east exit. I'd like to have a word in private. Even when things are darkest, you're the flame that lights the way forward. Just tell me one thing. Am I gonna get to smash up a bunch of Zenith bastards? We all are. Good. Before I do anything else, I should check on Zoe. It sounded important. Over here, Ailey. We would come out here to tend to the garden. Sometimes I needed fresh air. Other times we would simply sit and watch the sunrise. So when we returned from Gemini, it seemed fitting that he be laid to rest here. Now he can always look out at plain song and... Further east, to the Nora Sacred Lands. He would have liked that. He often spoke of his sister, Vala. He said she used to gather her favorite golden blooms and tie them to her spear. Their mother called it useless, but Bala was stubborn. Yeah, she seemed like that. It wasn't easy, but I tracked down the flower, gathered its seeds. Uh, 
as verdant blooms wither, roots rot in snow, still the seaweed rises as certain stone. From death follows new life. So it is with the land. And so it is with us. I'm with child, Evoy. I was going to tell him when he got back from Gemini. Instead, one day, I'll bring our child here. We'll sit among the blooms. And watch the sunrise. I never got to tell him. To thank him. For saving my life, sure, but also... For not giving up on me. He always knew. to look after them. I'll try to visit again when I can. But for now, I need to go to the fabrication terminal to install the new override on my spear. Then I'll use it on a sunwing and get ready for an entrance Regala will never forget. Override installed. Now to find a sunwing. I think there are some roosting at the top of the mountain. If the Banuk can survive free... Okay, I need to find a sunwing to override. Better head up the mountain. sound like rebels. Maybe if I follow their tracks, I can find out where they're headed. I can probably use my focus to follow the tracks those riders left behind.
Good. There are sun wings up here. We'll have to approach them quietly. Tilda, I'm in the air. Then you'll want to pick up an energy cell on one of the ancient Horus Titans. But first you must send out a pulse to activate them. I've sent you the necessary software. To deploy it, you'll have to override one of the communication machines you refer to as Tolnex. There's one in the middle of the desert that should do nicely. On it. There's a tall neck. Need to get on top of its head. Now, how to land this thing? Okay, Tilda, I've overridden the tall neck. Good, and the energy cells are now primed. Simply pick one up on a Horus. The nearest one should be northwest of your position. Dropping it on Regala's machine should produce quite a spectacle. Thanks for the assist. I told you, I want to help. Maybe. Heading for the grove. I hope a car when this knock can hold out no longer.
There's the energy cell. Right on the Titan's back. Got the cell. Now on to the grove. Pulse from the Tarmac should have reactivated all the energy cells in the region. I should be able to pick up more from the Horus I fly to. It'll be useful. Maybe after I do it with the Gala. Over Chaplin. I gotta drop it now. Here it goes. and I'll give you the death you didn't have the spine to give me. They're down! The machines! All of them! They're down! What? How's that possible? Regala! Enough bloodshed! Let's settle this. You and me. Easy to say when you're on top of a machine. Well, that was just to get your attention. I don't need any help to take you down. Fine. I accept your challenge. And once I'm done with you, I'll get to finish the slaughter. We'll see about that. The duel is set. Let none interfere.
I will paint this hallowed soil with your blood. Challenge! I once slew three! It is. Soon your blood will be mine! You die here and now! That freaks you!
Here I am again, on my knees before bootlets and cowards. Go ahead, run me through. Shut your mouth, traitor. It was you who flew in on the wings of the Ten. You who challenged her by our rights. You must decide her fate. I spared her once. It only made things worse. She was the best of my marshals. What a waste. She's dangerous, all right. But maybe that's exactly what I need. Cowards! What more do you have to conspire about? Whether you live or die, After all that you've done, I can't let you live. Finally. There's something you both need to see, in the throne room. <laughs> he surrendered to our guards outside the grove. Claims he has an urgent message for the outlander who defeated Regala. So, state it. It's for her alone. From an interested party. I'm gonna need some privacy. Clear the room. Put him with the rest of Regala's soldiers. I'll see you back at base. You saved the tribe. Let me help you with your mission. No. With Regala gone, you have a chance to build the future you dreamed of. So get to your task. Then at least allow me to give you this. Regala's bow. May you always strike true with it. Thank you. It's a pleasure to see you too, Silence. Congratulations on your victory. You saved the Tanakh for a few weeks. Unfortunately, you doomed the entire planet as well. Wrong. I don't need a Tanakh army to defeat the Xenos. Oh, Eloy. Have you learned nothing about the enemy we're up against? More than you, hiding whatever hole you found. My idea is just better than anything you ever came up with. No, not here. We're doing this my way. Face to face, and with the weapon you've developed. And why would I agree to that? 
Because I'm your only way of beating the Zeniths, and getting the copy of Apollo that's on their ship. So meet me at my base, mountains west of Plainsong. Time to submit to the inevitable silence and follow the person who actually knows what she's doing. Don't be late. Tilda, you there? I did it. Silence is on board, so head to my base. Impressive. I'll be there as soon as I can. Now that I can fly, I might want to see what else I can do before I head back. Before I head back. Hey, uh, Mr. Know-It-All is here. You know, you're focused, buddy, who never smiles. I didn't know what to do with him, so I had him wait in your room. Got it. 
Thanks. Well, Silence. Looks like you finally found a door you could open without me. I'm glad it's there, actually. It kept me from having to mingle with the company keeper. But enough prattle. I believe you owe me an explanation of your plans for the Zeno base. You're right. I do owe you. My spear in your throat for deceiving me again. At the Hades Proofing Lab. I doubt you asked me here for that kind of reckoning. No. Right now, I need your help. So I'm giving you one final chance. But if you ever betray me again, I will kill you no matter what the circumstance. Understood? Very well. Though we'll both face a decidedly short future if you can't get us inside that base. Aloy, your other guest is here. She's, um, coming to you. Thanks. Good timing. The truth is, I can't actually get us into the base. But, she can. The company you keep is even worse than I thought. Not a fan of surprises, are you? Oh, well, look. That must be your little invention. Does the weapon work? Without self-destructing? Of course it does. I've eliminated the imperfections and greatly improved its design and output. How can we be sure? Care for a demonstration. Enough, both of you. We're in this together, at least for now. Go talk to Erend. Tell him I said to give you rooms of your own. I'll come see you when I get a chance. Oh, no. You first. Better get everyone in the control room, so Tilda can tell us what she knows about the Zenith base. Okay, maybe it's time to get everyone together so Tilda can brief us. But is there anything I should handle? All right, people. I need you up in the control room, right away. Okay, everyone. We all know what's at stake. Beta, Gaia. Not to mention life on Earth. Now, it might seem like the Zeniths are invincible, but they're not. We've got what it takes to break into their base and defeat them. We even have one of them on our side. Tilda, show us the base. It is constructed atop the ruins of an ancient military facility on an island to the southwest. I can get us inside. To this location, undetected. How exactly? You'll know when you need to. Once inside, our goal will be this structure, the launch tower. Gaia and Beta are being held at the top. But along the way, we will face overwhelming resistance. Most importantly, from Gerard, Eric, and the others. But also... Once I take away their shields, we should be able to deal with them. But it will be easier to deploy the device if someone else is carrying it. I'll need a strong back. Carry stuff? Yeah, I can do that. Even if your device works, there will still be Spectre drones scores of them. If only we had an army to fight them. I've got that under control. You'll know when you need to. All right. We'll meet up again just before we go in.
Where's the best place to rendezvous? On the coast, just across from the island. Once there, I'll show you the way. Okay. I'll let you know when I arrive at the rendezvous point. And then you can join me. In the meantime, do whatever you need to prepare. Understood? You too? A minute? Tilda helped me get in touch with Beta, and she told me something important. There's an installation inside the base. It's called a regulator. Here. Once we're inside, I need you two to split off from everyone else and destroy it. So you'll have to bring explosives. This will help stop the drones. Everything depends on it. Are you with me? After that, I want you to find a way to infiltrate the Zenith network. How? Go over all the data that Beta left behind. She knew how to do it, I'm sure of that. All right, but why? Uh, what am I trying to do? Find information about the Zeniths. Anything Tilda's not telling us. Silence is right about one thing. There's no way we can take her on her word. I'll do my best. Keep her safe, okay? On my life. Okay. Almost time to go after Beta and Gaia. Might be good to check up on everyone first. Clean my gear later. I can do yours if you want.
I should take care of everything I can before calling in the others to attack the Zenith base. Okay, everyone. I'm at the rendezvous point. It's time to rescue Beta and Gaia. Understood, Aloy. We're on our way. Aloy. Where are the others? Not far behind. Egghead here couldn't stand traveling with the pack. Are we all here? Then let's begin. A tunnel. An ancient escape route from the ruins on the island. When I realized it ran all the way across the water, I, I thought it might prove useful to come and go undetected. So I concealed it from the others. Shall we? I wish there was a less pungent way to get way inside the base. Agreed. There's the launch tower. That plane offers a little cover, so the only viable path is through there. There will be specters guarding it, and many more can be deployed from those hangars. All right. Alva, Catalo, get to it. Where are they going? Somewhere important. Erend, you're with me. You guys, take the high ground in case we need covering fire. Tactically sound, I suppose. What will she do? There's a sensor node nearby. If I hack into it, I should be able to scramble the network and keep you undetected. But not for long. Then we should proceed. One more thing. Open up the channel to beta. Audio only. Hey, boy. We're here. And we're coming for you. You know what to do, right? As long as you hold up your end. We will. See you soon. Be careful. Let's go. Mm. Get to the launch tower as quickly as possible. I'll do my best to conceal our intrusion. Company, follow my lead. That's what I do. Could try using acid ammo. Got 
Six weeks back. Now we're at docking. <laughs> You are quit in this battle, you love. <laughs> and that's a good time to hit it. Nice on brittle. There's a cave up there that might get us through that ridge. Let's climb up to it. What's in this backpack, Metal Bricks? Aloy, Alva and I are closing in on the regulator. Keep me posted. It's creepy in here. Don't worry. I'll protect you. I wish I had a glider. I guess I'll find another way. Machines on this island. We killed a great many when we landed here. Their salvage may prove useful to you now. Another specter. Sneak or fight. You choose. Pick it. Need it. Any good loot? A little. Thing 
with acid. That Stormbird carcass should get us over the gap. I hate Stormbirds. But I guess that uh, got dead ones handy enough. Now you remember the good old days when our only worry was whether Meridian would be destroyed? You know, instead of the, the whole world? Oh yeah. Good times. Uh, more spectres. Not gonna do much harm I'll attack when you do. All of them. At least. Let's push on. What do you get? Just some parts. Okay? Yeah. I'll find a way back up. Here. Up this rock. We're gonna have to climb around this corner. Well, I'm trying not to complain. I can see the way forward. Keep moving. Oh, I 
fast as we can. You all right? Sort of. the slab. Aloy, Alva and I are in position. Do it. Blow the regulator. A moment while I ignite the charges. Looks like the others have things under control. Alva and Catalo did their job. Now it's Beta's turn. Uh, Aloy? I think we're in trouble. Whatever you plan to do to stop those specters, you better do it now. I'm not doing anything. Beta will. She just needs a little time. Time that we don't have. Come on, Beta. Come on, come on, come on. What is that? their attention. Very clever. You had Beta inject Hephaestus into the base's printer matrix. Which is faster and more powerful than any cauldron. Now it can crank out machines to its heart's content. Tower before this whole place becomes a war zone. <clears throat> Your maneuver, as clever as it is, means that Hephaestus has escaped containment. It will no doubt flew back to the Cauldron Network. We grabbed it once, we'll get it again. We'll find a way to replicate its functionality, perhaps. The Apollo database. That a uh, big rock might give us a bridge to get up and through. Gotcha. I guess not all the specters are fighting our machines. Ah, that would have made it nice and easy. damage from fire. Zone Baldi or 
fighting another Spectrum. I think I can handle it. Jump. To the right, I think. And now to the left. You can get to the launch tower through the hangar up ahead. I'm heading over to join you now. The hangar's in bad shape, but I can see the way in. Hurry, Aloy! Another one?
Dude, all this zenith space stuff. This place is gonna come down around our ears. Oh, the There's a the guy who doesn't have to carry much. to the tower. Can we drop their shields, please? I'm powering it up. Stay still. This is pointless. You can't hurt us. Face it. Your worms that ooze through the cracks into our basement. Silence. One moment more. But I might just spare you if you give up Tilda. I think it's safe to say she's forfeited her share of our operation. Permanently. Ah, uh, there. No? Nothing. Fine. All right, people. Light them up! Are we supposed to be scared? Take long before he preps the shuttle for launch. Then he'll be able to take Beta and Gaia into orbit and onto the Odyssey beyond our reach. We gotta go through there. I failed to see another option. Then we'll carve a path. Ready? Get to the top of the tower and free Beta. Aloy, we're... Time machine felt! Apologies for that. We're okay. As long as all the hurries. I'm almost into the network. Just do the best you can.
Okay, an elevator. Promising. We got some unfinished business, little girl. I don't need a shield to take you out. Trust me, you're gonna wish you had one. Machines and specters have almost wiped each other out. What was that? Aloy, Gerard just activated the self-destruct failsafe on the printing matrix. He's taking control of a number of systems. Including the lift? I'm afraid so. He's restricted its access to the top. He'll have to climb from there. I have to go. I almost have. Machines and specters have almost wiped each other out. What was that? Aloy, Gerard just activated the self destruct failsafe on the printing matrix. He's taking control of a number of systems. Including the lift? I'm afraid so. 
He's restricted its access to the top. You'll have to climb from there. I have to go. I almost have. Aaron? Is everyone all right down there? Yeah, mostly. We're cleaning up the last few spectres. What about the Zeniths? Dead, I think. I so told me you got Eric. Good work. Yeah. Thanks. I guess only Tilda and Gerard are left then. Aloy, you there? Listen, I got into the network, but only for a minute before I was shut out. I found a bunch of flight plans and trajectories, as if the Zeniths were planning to leave Earth. Doesn't make any sense. I know. But there's more. The files I found have a lot of references to something called Nemesis. Whatever it is, the Zeniths are afraid of it. Alva? Alva! What's going on here? Maybe Rebecca can help me figure it out. Are you okay? Look, I, I know you've been through a lot, but you have to help me access the Zenith network. I need to see their files, anything referring to the word Nemesis. Okay. O over there. The systems are down all over the base. I should be able to take advantage of... Yes, Nemesis. Here. There's something in deep space. It's following the Zeniths to Earth. Look. Escape vectors. Alva tried to warn me about this. The Zeniths aren't planning to stay here. It's a machine of some kind. O or a swarm of them. The energy readings are... astronomical. Aloy, I don't think a natural disaster destroyed the Zenith colony on Sirius. This thing did. Earth isn't a new home for them. It's a way station. They're on the run. I see you've been busy. And you've been lying. Nemesis, what is it? It is us. The minds of Far Zenith. Or failed copies of them, anyway. Back on Sirius, some of my peers weren't 
satisfied with physical immortality. They wanted digital transcendence, a way to upload their minds into any form, organic or mechanical. Nemesis was a failed experiment to that effect. Abandoned, but never erased. An immense database of our memories, emotions, and prejudices left to fester. And it destroyed your colony? We didn't realize it gained sentience until it broke containment. It had everything it needed from our memories. Security protocols, system specs, override codes. It hacked everything before we knew what hit us. Then it took over our printing facilities, allowing it to gain any machine form it needed to wipe us out. But why? Imagine being trapped alone for decades with only the twisted echoes of megalomaniacs for company. It hates us for abandoning it to that prison. And now that it's free, it will do anything to destroy us, including denying us a safe harbor on Earth. The extinction signal that woke Hades. You didn't send it. Nemesis did. Finally, you understand. And when that failed, it launched from Sirius to finish the job itself. Which is why we must flee to a random planet circling a random star somewhere it can never find us. With Gaia, so you can build yourself a new world. That's the plan. Even now. Earth is finished, Aloy. Nemesis will scour it of life to deny its creators a viable home. But Elizabeth's dream won't die. You'll come with me to the stars. And with Gaia, we'll create a new world together where that monstrosity could never find us. What? No. I loved Elizabeth more than you could ever know. And I let her stay behind to die with the rest of humanity. A mistake I have regretted for a thousand years. Now she stands before me again. Not some inferior copy, but her best possible self. So I'm not asking. You're coming with me. It may seem harsh now, but you'll forgive me in a few centuries. You can't force me, Tilda. Your shield is gone. I have something better. Spectre Prime, to me. Take cover! Get to the door!
just let me choose. She tried to take you. And she told you about Nemesis. So you've known all along? From Hades, yes. Along with data on how to circumvent the Zenith shields. Everything I did to create the rebel army was based on that knowledge. To reach this place, this moment. And you couldn't just tell me? Come now, Eloy. You're the last person to act sensibly in the face of impossible odds. When I learned of Nemesis from Hades, I saw the pieces on the board and how to play them. And in that same moment, I knew it was a game you would never play. That you would interfere and attempt to save the Tanakht. I was correct, to a point. You ruined my plans, but brought your own to fruition. The end result is the same. We're here. And now it's time for me to leave this doomed planet behind. To seize the Odyssey and the Apollo database and begin a new chapter in my pursuit of knowledge, one with infinite possibilities. You can join me if you so desire. You've more than earned your place. Unlike Tilda, I'm extending a polite invitation. You're going to just take off and abandon everything? Stay. Help me fight that thing. Perhaps Tilda didn't adequately define the threat. Nemesis can't be stopped. It destroyed a highly advanced Zenith colony in a matter of hours. What hope does this primitive tribal Earth have? If you brought Gaia, you wouldn't be abandoning life. You'd be saving a seed for a new world. Just as Elizabeth did. It's the choice she made. The sacrifice of all that is for the hope of what might be. If she were here in your place, she would board that shuttle, Eloy. Found her. Is she hurt? Still on her feet. Thank the turn. Goodbye, Silence. She looks okay. She looks victorious. As always. Eloy. You did it. Where's he going? As far away as anyone can go. Oh. Are you sure? You're staying. For a time. You people are going to need all the help you can get. Does anyone else need a drink? Not if it's that ale of yours. Uh, I'd be fine with a nap. Excellent idea. Uh, I hope it's really over this time.
There's another battle ahead, Elizabeth. Very different than the one you fought. It's not about the distant hope of creating a new world. It's about preserving the one we have. My friends have a new mission. To spread the word and ask for help. They've taken it in stride. I think it's because they've always known what I've only just started to understand. That the people of this world have the strength to fight any battle. The ingenuity to solve any problem. The courage to overcome any obstacle. and the resilience to rise after any setback. As for me, I can't say I'm not afraid. What lies ahead will be harder than anything we've faced before. But I know I can put the fear aside. Because for the first time in my life, I feel like I'm not alone.